Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the new automation feature in BandLab. So here I have a drum machine track, a virtual instrument track, and a vocal track. And with the new automation in BandLab, we can add volume and pan automation to all three. Now to edit automation, tap on the automation icon above the first track. You will now see a line appear on each track. The menu currently says volume, so the automation line on the track is a volume automation line. Tap on the line to add a dot. Press on the dot and drag up or down the screen to move the dot and to move the line up or down. The pop-up message shows the volume level the line is setting the track volume to. The higher the line is on the track, the higher the volume. Take it from me. To turn off the track's volume automation, double tap on the dot to delete it so there are no more dots on the automation line. To change the track's volume along the track, tap on the automation line four times. Then drag the two middle dots up or down to change the track volume between the dots. Drag the first dot to set the track volume before the dots. Drag the last dot to change the track volume after the dots. Take it. Every little thing you see. You can also add more dots too. Drag a dot left or right to change its position along the track. When there is a diagonal line between the dots, the track volume will gradually change to the track volume set by the next dot. Every little thing you see. Tap on volume and the drop down menu will appear. Tap on pan to see the pan automation line. Tap on the automation line to add a dot. Drag the dot up the screen to pan the track right. Take it. Or down the screen to pan left. Tap on the automation line again, then drag the first dot up the screen, and the second dot down the screen. To have the track pan from right to left, the section of the track with the diagonal automation line will gradually pan from right to left. If you have added effects to the track, like reverb, tap on the reverb on the drop down menu. And tap on Mix. The reverb mix knob automation line will now appear. Tap on the line to add dots, then move the dots 
to change the amount of reverb. To hide the automation lines, tap on the automation icon again. If you have added dots to the volume automation line, you will no longer be able to adjust the track volume from the mixer settings screen. And we'll see this pop-up message at the bottom of the screen instead. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.